No countdown. Coming to you live and direct. The undisputed toasting champion. We are well over 200 days. We are. If the day is the 8th. We are. Thirteen days from the solstice. All right. Also, family, it is great to see you. I want to say great Coogee Chagalia to you. For some reason, I want to say great Emoja, but great Coogee Chagalia to you. I want to thank all of those that's taking the time to watch the videos. I want to thank all those that's taking the time to uh, check out and lease sample the ambrosia i want to take all those i want to take all those who's taking the time and at least trying the goose saga challenge um i want to thank all those that's taking the time to reach out to me um and um and i want you to know that i appreciate you so we are going to do the daily toast great morning miss jackson great day this is uh cootie chocolate uh, let me get my cheat sheet. So, uh, great day, great day, great day. We about to do our toast. I need to get my te my cheat sheet out. I also need to get my. So, um, this this month, I ain't gonna say this month, but I started my second Nagusa Saba challenge. Uh, but actually, this is my. Yeah, it's going to be my third one. So now, what I'm about to do is I'm working on mastering my financial, my financial issue, right? See, now, with the Inglusa Sarpa Challenge, one piece I want to keep on stressing to people is that it's not, it don't have to just be used to change the days, it don't have to be just used to change your diet, it don't have to be used to... It can also be used to to help you master because it takes 21 days to establish a habit. 21 days, right? So you can take 21 days and you can work on whatever you want. So now on this 21 days, I am moving towards some financial mastery. I got some financial issues in my life that I got to master. I love wasting money. I love buying gadgets. I love just... I, I ain't gonna say love, it's just I don't know. And, you know. But hey, so um shouts out to the Tawi Village. This is the last day for the comedic new year. Um so tomorrow we will start what year, brother? Um, brother Kwame. Come on, get it right this time, man. Get it right this time. Alright, cause we don't wanna give people the wrong year, you know, to mess up the, the timing on the uh on their cell phones and stuff like that, you know. All right, so today is the day of Kuji Chagalia. Uh, for those that don't know, Kuji Chagalia means self-determination. Um, it's a day of, okay, so tomorrow we will be moving into 6258. Well, actually, after the sun set today, we'll be moving into the year of 6258, committed year of 6258. All right, um... Today is Kujichaglia, is the day of self determination. The modic principle for the day is justice. Uh, the color is indigo, that's a dark blue type color. Um, like uh, the, when the sun sets, right at um, nightfall, even, even when the sun rises, it's that deep, deep, dark blue. Um, the hermetic law for the day is correspondence, all right? The male name, the, the day is my day. Oh, yeah, I got to fast today. That's right. All right, the day is my day. I'm, I'm a Quabana. If you was born on this day, you are a Quabana. If a male, if you was born on this day and you're a female, you are Abana. At sunrise, we are in 62 feet day. Yesterday was the last day. Are you sure? I, do we, I don't, do we do five days? So you saying that sunrise today is sixty two fifty eight? So yesterday was the last day. All right, it is what it is. Um, so 
on the emotional emancipation circle. In Warloff today, we are on cursor, self-respect and respect for others. Um, with the con ethics, we are generosity and beneficence. Um, and attributes of good character from um, the Yoruba, we are on if farabale, calmness, right? And I know some of y'all like, Brother Tim, what's with all these words, right? I'm trying to give you choice. I'm trying to give you um, something that you could plug into and you could find for yourself. Okay, so we completed five days. So hey, it's on, it is on, it's on and popping now. We back in time now, right? So hey, we you know I've been in the spiritual world for the last five days. I'm back, right? So now, um, and just happened I fall right back on my my day. So today until about nine o'clock, I will be fasting. All right, celebrating my day. Um, so here we go. Let's do rules of the toast family. Get you some water. You got to make your toast with me, right? So first, before we make the toast, I want to make sure that everybody, shouts out to Brother Nate Anthony, I want to make sure everybody, we start our day off with some water, get that eye shade flowing through the body, drink you some water, get you some good water, right? Drink up. Try to go for 32. I probably won't make it to 32. I don't look like I got enough for 32 ounces. Man, I hate the way they, they changed the camera on me on, on uh, Facebook. Look at all that head space up there. I mean, I know I got a big ass head, but look at all that. All that is wasted camera space. It's waste, wasted lens. <sighs> so, what y'all see me taking right here is called rhodiola. I'm experimenting with it. I came off my fast and I started taking it. It's called the golden root. Let's we'll see how golden it really is. Um, So, I ain't really felt no effects. I'm just being honest. Now, those out there that's doing the toast with me, you don't have to drink as many glasses of water I drink. I try to, do, I try to start my day off with at least 32 ounces. At least 32 ounces. Alright, so this is my last one. Alright, family, what I'm going to do tonight, tonight we are. Starting well, we started last week. We started uh, folk tales for t grown folks um, back. We're gonna start folk tales for grown folks back tonight at about 9 p.m. Um, I'm still I'm still deciding on what I'm gonna talk about on the show today because yesterday we talked about my yacht, right? I wanted to make sure that um, some of the people that, that listen to me got a better understanding. Not clear understanding because, like I said, I'm just I'm a searcher like most of y'all, so I, I won't claim that I know um, everything. You know what I'm saying, or a, a lot about um, too much. You know, but what I you know I can share the little bit that I do know with y'all, right? So we talked about my eye yesterday, and one of the things that that's been catching my eye once again. It's folk tales. Um, I went out and got a bunch of books on book on folklore, African folklore, and African folk tales. You know what I'm saying? On top of that, I'm still running through. Uh, we will be continuing with uh, Aesop um, on folk tales for grown folks. 
but I'm looking for stories because like I said Kwanzaa is coming up I'm um, looking for the lessons that the ancestors left us because the key piece is that we have already won we just don't realize it yet now what y'all see me doing right now this is that Ambrosia Death Eater Vinegar and then we got my last little bit the last little bit of that lemon lime and ginger so let's make this toast family if you have ancestors that you want me to salute by all means top them up let's get it alright but you know every day whether you join me or not make sure that in some form or fashion you salute your ancestors they deserve it because they were saluting you um, long before you knew it you know what I'm saying when you was crying and peeing on yourself and, and all that they would come and change your diaper and in some of y'all cases they came and changed the bed right they was helping you out so now it's your turn to help them out right so we lift up our glass and we salute the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator we call on that great divine energy to flow in our lives we, even though we know that we are surrounded by this energy, we lift up our glass anyway, and, and, and we thank the Creator for allowing us to be present and, and, and alive today. So we say our shape. From there, we move to our personal ancestors, and we remember, we lift up our personal ancestors, and we think about those individuals who took the time for us, in some cases when they didn't even have to, right? Um, we lift up our glass to those elders that shared their wisdom with us, even though they didn't have to. We lift up our glass to those teachers that were in our life that may have passed away that um, we remember for the moments that they spent with us when they didn't have to, right? Um, we lift up our glass to all of our mothers and fathers, our uncles and our aunts, our friends and cousins, our nieces and nephews that made their transition before we did. Because we lift up our glass and we remember that hell for Africans is being forgotten. And we pledge to never forget ours. Right? Never forget ours. Like I said, so we, we, we toast our personal ancestors. So we lift up our glass and we say, I say, now you can go and run down your family line, I'm going to run down mine. Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robin and Texana Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, George and William Walter, Christopher and Fanny Gatz, and Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, um, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Wash Ellis, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Wash Ellis Jr., Herman Brown II, Alvaro Brown, Gina Gaines, my Aunt Barbara Twiggs, my Aunt K Katie Ellis, um, John Fillard, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, uh, Tony Clark, Mark Walsh, Normal X, Sepet Ma Ra, Elder Donaldson, Elder Harrison, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon, um, I don't know if I said Dr. Marianne Williams. Um, Kojo Kamal. Terrell Dunbar. We lift up our glass and we say Ashe. Alright. From there we move to this present moment. We already kind of discussed what this moment is. We know that it's Kuji Chakalia plus some other principles that you can focus on today that you can look for. We, look, we lift up our glass and we say I say because right now in this moment is your power. It's not it's not in the past. The future doesn't exist yet. You're creating it right now. It's right here in the present. Lift up your glass because right now you have all the choices. You have all the opportunity in this moment. So we lift up our glass and we say I say, right? Black folks, stop waiting for the future. We got to make it happen now. Lift up those glasses. I say. Last but not least, well this ain't last. We're going to salute our children, our children's children, unto affinity because we are programming them, right, by what we do. 
they're watching us. The little organic computers that are looking at us and learning and, and, and watching us and picking up the logarithms of our lives. And we want to make sure that what we demonstrate to them are healthy logarithms that they will be able to follow. Healthy rhythms that they will be able to follow and move into the future in a powerful and, and strong and healthy way. So we lift up our glass to our children. We salute our children. We salute them now so that they will one day be able to salute us. We remember them now and we work for them now so that they will have a future. You know what I'm saying? And and, and we got to work diligently, y'all, because it's, it's, there's certain forces out there that's trying to erase our children's future. And we can't allow that. Not on my watch. You know what I'm saying? So we lift up our glass to our children, our children's children, on to infinity. As the Native Americans say, as our Native Americans brothers say, we are responsible for the next seven generations. And because we are a generational people, we know that if we don't get it right now, when we reincarnate, because we come back to our own family line, when we come back, we're going to have to come back and deal with the shit that we left. So family, clean it up. Matter of fact, I know what I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to talk about this whole generational piece today on um, and talking about, what, of course, dealing with the folklore, but talking about how by us allowing certain individuals into our circles and allowing them to infect our children, I'm, I'm just going to, I got it. I know what I'm going to deal with today. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like I'm I'm seeing damaged children every day. Right? Damaged children every day. And it's just a lot of stuff that we allow to go on in our community that we need to go on and we need to go on and put us we need to shut that shit down now. So we lift up our glass to our children, our children, children unto affinity. As we say, I say, and last but not least, I toast you. Any issues that you have out there that you want us to toast. We, you had an opportunity, you know what I'm saying, shout it out right now because the ancestors are with us. Regardless of whether you're watching it live or regardless, you're up tonight at 9, 9 p.m. I'll be on um, Facebook. I'll be on, um, I think I'm just going to stream it and then I will download it and put it on my on, on, on the podcast. So, we lift up the glass and we say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Ashe. I wish you peace, power, and joy, and 100 years. Guess what, fam? Found some, found some fruit. We about to get us a smoothie. Now, the other rule about toasting is you got to have your healthy drink. Whether well, that healthy drink is some coffee, I mean, I ain't gonna say coffee. I mean, coffee can be healthy. As long as you don't overdo it, some tea, some ambrosia, whatever it is you got to make your toast with, with me in the morning, get you a healthy drink, make that toast, family, make that toast. Interesting topic, looking forward to watching it. Oh no, that topic is going to be on the, every morning I do the YouTube, so I'm about to do that. The topic tonight is going to be the whatever folk tale. The ancestors have pop up for us tonight. Um, and it'll probably connect. Because you connect. Um, Y'all know I connect. I can almost connect any subject with any subject. That's one of my gifts. You know what I'm saying? The ancestors bless me with that one. So, I'm about to make this smoothie. And we about to get up. We about to get up. So... y'all out there man listen those of you that's looking for um some help with some stuff you should try to and lose a cyber challenge because i'm trying to tell you man ain't nothing like taking those 21 days to really make some changes like i did the fast oops i gotta go on and blend that down a little bit more
Been able to knock out a couple of habits. Now I'm about to see what I can do with my finances. <laughs> I be wasting a lot of money. Brother, that is called a genius. The ability to connect one discipline with another. Thank you, sir. I wouldn't say I'm a genius. I just got a big head. That's all. Got a big head with a lot of information in it, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm a student of normal X. So. Alright. So, family, I want to thank you for tuning in. I'm about to go and do the other part of the show. Um... Those of you that don't know, check me out on YouTube. <laughs> Big Head Scientist. That's right. That's right. I was messing around and made some West Asians. <laughs> All right, peace, fam.